guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. We are almost done creating our first flow with all the functional requirements meet. So the, we have created our intro screen. Then we have also created our end screen, which basically tells the user that, hey, this is the end of the business process. Then the next requirement says is we need to add a screen which asks the user to enter his name and then he will be able to go to the next screen, which is basically the end screen. So what we are going to do here is we will go back to our Cloudflow designer here and we are going to go ahead and add another screen. And what will be the name of the screen? So this particular screen is like a form, right? It's going to ask you for some information. So we are going to go ahead and name this as personal info form is the name of this screen and uh, let's go ahead and click OK here. So right now this particular screen is not connected to these two screens. So what we have to do is this particular screen is not directly going to connect to end. It is going to connect to the personal info form and then the personal info form should go to the next screen which is the end screen. So highlight on this particular line here which connects these two screens and then from your keyboard just click on the delete button. So type the delete button. It will remove that connection. Now from this particular screen, let's move this screen in between. This is just for a look of this canvas. You can even have connected through here. So that's not a problem. I'm just moving it so that all these three screens are in the alignment. Then from this particular screen, the first screen, I'm going to go ahead and connect to my personal info form screen. And then from the personal info form, it's going to go ahead and connect to this end screen. So I, now this is what the flow looks like. So this is my first screen, this is the second, and this is my last screen. So in the personal info form, if you go ahead and this is what we have done. In the personal info form, we haven't added any welcome, any message or anything. It is kind of an empty screen. So without doing anything else, let's just go ahead and hit the save button and run this flow. So now what you'll see, this is your welcome screen that you see here. Then you have this next button and this takes you to the screen that we just created, the personal info screen, which has nothing in it, in it yet. And then when you click on the next button, it takes you to this final screen, which is nothing but the end screen. Now let's go ahead and edit our personal info screen. So we are going to go ahead and click on this edit button here. And... Uh, we are going to add a display message to this particular screen as well. So we're going to go ahead and add a display message here. And in this particular display message, let's say the name for this display text field, the unique name is form underscore text. And I'm going to write here, please enter your name below. You can either enter your first name or your full name. So this is what my text message looks like. So let's go ahead and format it a little bit. Let's make it a constant size. So we're going to go ahead and change the font size to 18. And then you can see here this message looks like this on the right side of the screen. Now, once you've added this field, let's add a field to capture the name of the user. So we are going to go ahead, see here inputs. If you want to input something, means if you wanted to uh, get any input from the user, then you have these fields. If you wanted to display something to the user, then you have this outputs category. If you wanted to display a Dropbox or anything, then you have this choices category. If you have a multi-select choices, you can pick any of these. So we'll talk about each of these in, as we proceed with the requirements. But for now, timing, we just want to display a text, med, text box to the user where he can type in his name. So here, let's go ahead and drag the text box to the right side and click on the text box. And let's say, what is the label? So here I'm going to say, I'm asking the user to enter the name. So once you put the label here, automatically this will display on the right side. The name will get displayed because the label is name. And it is a required field. I want the user to not proceed to the next screen until he has provided his name. And uh, let's say the unique name I wanted to provide is the API name. So let's say we we'll call it as name underscore text box. So I'm asking the user to enter his name here. 
And if you wanted to go ahead and format this to 18, you can go ahead and do that as well. So if you go ahead and increase the size, so you can do that, click OK. So automatically it will match to the text size. So this is what we have done is we have added a text box on the screen where the user will enter his name. And then I've also displayed a message so that user knows that what he has to do in this particular screen. So let's go ahead and uh, click OK here. So now let's go ahead and save it and run our flow. So let's go ahead and hit the run button. You can see here it shows you the welcome screen. Then you go ahead and click the next here. Then it says, please enter your name below. You can either enter your first name or your full name. So here, let's say if I enter the pick up, if I do not enter anything, and if I go to the next page, it will give me an error message saying, because we made this field as a required field. So your user cannot proceed to the next screen until you provide your name here. So now I'm going to provide my name, the Pika here, and then hit the next button. Let's say on this end message, I wanted to display the user, make it more personalized. So I wanted to say here that, hey, thank you, the Pika, for all that you do. And this concludes this process. So I wanted to go ahead and make this message as a personalized. So this is our end screen, right? So we're going to go back to our flow and click on this pencil on this end screen. And then we're going to edit the screen. And on this display message, let's say I wanted to thank you. And then I wanted to show the name of the user, whatever the name that user has typed. Here I can say thank you. And then I can even get the name that the user has entered. So here you can see from the input under the input fields because the user has entered anything here. So from the name text box, it's just like using the merge, using those fields in the formula editor. If you remember, you can just go ahead. So whatever the user has entered in that text box previously, you will see that particular name in this thank you message. And here you can specify thank you for all that you do this concludes this process and you can just go ahead and remove this line here so let's go ahead and format this click on this 18 so this whole message is converted into 18 make it bold if you want to make it if you don't want to make it you can just leave it as it is so what we did here is from this resource we went to this screen input fields whatever the input fields that we have it on this form you will see it here. Since we only have one input text field, that's why you can see the API name for that input field. If you had more input fields on this flow, you will see all those input fields here. And then output fields, whatever the messages you have, end text, form text, whatever then. Since we have, this is the only input field that we have in this form, that's why you see it here. So we choose that input field and then click OK. So whatever the user has typed in in the second screen, you will see it in the end screen. So data is there, data remains in the flow. So let's go ahead and run this one more time. This is the final flow that we have done. So it displays you the welcome message. Welcome to an amazing flow to help you streamline your business process. In the following flow, you will be able to enter in your name and then see if what you entered is what you expected to see. So now we are going to go ahead and provide our name here. So here, let's say I'm going to provide Deepika. Then let's go ahead and hit the next button. Here it will say, thank you, Deepika, for all that you do. This concludes this process. Let's hit the finish button. Now it will restart the testing again. So it will run the flow again. Hit the next button. Here, let's say we entered Simran. In to enter your first name. So let's say I've entered Simran Alok is the full name. And then hit the next button. So here it says, thank you, Simran Alok, for all that you do. This concludes this process. So now you have created your first flow, which meets all this our functional requirements. It has you have displayed an intro screen, then you have created another screen which asked for a input from the user to enter his full name, and then it takes you to the end of the process, which displays you the end message to the user. So this is your how you create your first flow. Please follow the same steps so you will have a working flow by the end of this tutorial. So this is a simple example to illustrate how to create flows, what is a Cloudflow designer, 
and how to get the input from the user and all that. Now, in the next tutorial, we are going to go ahead and talk in detail about the flows and what are the different fields and the palette items that are available to you. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.